military gave me everything I could ever want in life. You know, I didn't really have anything once I turned 18 and it was a real big struggle for me. So joining the military gave me that boost in life. My job in the military was operational specialist. It required me to monitor ships and what's around the ships while in the water, as well as talk to pilots when they're taking off and landing. Being on the ship, it was something I really wanted. I did want to get experience with it um, before my contract was up. So um, I wasn't really afraid. I mean, of course, if it's at nighttime and all you hear is the waves, you might get a little scared. But other than that, you know, you kind of just live your day-to-day -day life on the ship. Living with schizophrenia at first was really hard. You know, I was still dealing with the voices. Um, I wasn't sure what was really going on, but after being on medication and um, seeing a psychiatrist as well as a social worker and also having a uh, maid, it kind of brought me back into myself to live a normal life, you know, to take care of myself as well as my daughter. I have a daughter, her name is Jada. and. She will be eight years old this September. She's so excited. And um, I just explained to her my condition of schizophrenia. Um, I just explained to her sometimes I say, um, I just need a moment. You know, I might go to my room for a second or I might fold some clothes or if it's really um, bothering me, like if I'm really hearing the voices, um, I just may say like, oh, uh, it's the spirits across the street since I'm across the cemetery. And we kind of just laugh and joke about it and just say, oh, the spirits are in the house. The spirits are talking to me. So we kind of laugh it up, laugh it off. I haven't really had a serious conversation because she really don't know, but she does go to the doctor with me. So she does see me getting my blood drawn or me talking to a psychiatrist, but she's not really sure what's going on. I want people to know about schizophrenia is um, I'm not crazy <laughs> that's the one um, I guess uh, cliche that the, everyone always says um, schizophrenia is just uh, is basically hearing voices that that's the shortest definition I can think of and um, you know if it's unexpectedly you know, you do have to seek help because you're not going to know how to deal with it. But, you know, it's a lifelong illness. It's never going to go away.